Could DPJ be poised for a breakout season for the Browns uh, in year three? This is from the Browns podcast. And and you see his grade actually regressed um, a little bit as pro football focus grade from year uh, one to year two. Um, you also see the numbers there as far as production goes. And again, I think Browns fans got caught up a little bit, Mary Kay, because of the training camp that he had. Donovan Peoples-Jones was always a de- developmental guy. You know, they picked him in the sixth, seventh round a couple years ago. And he's, for a sixth, seventh rounder, he's played pretty well. And and let's see if he can take that next step to where, you know, he is a legitimate two or a, or a legitimate three and a, a scoring, you know, a red zone threat. Yeah, yeah. As a sixth rounder, you know, the hope was that he would come in and be a really good, solid number three for you, uh, or at least one of your number threes. And, uh, you know, he was just pressed into service a little bit above his head this season because of what went on with Odell Beckham Jr. And then they, that Anthony Schwartz was not able to come through this year and be the receiver they hoped he would be because of first a hamstring injury that cost him most of the offseason and training camp and then a concussion. Uh, that kept him out for three full games. So uh, I would think that when Donovan Peoples-Jones returns to his role as the number three, and he's not taking on the best cornerback, he's not taking on the double team and and has, you know, safety over the top all the time. And I, I think that he can be very effective in that role as a good number three. And I think that, uh, I mean, you're seeing some of that even with Odell Beckham Jr. He's better behind Cooper Cup uh, than, than he was trying to be the solid number one and taking on those double teams every single play right now. Uh, So it's just, I think the same thing could happen for Donovan. 